You would think after the rearrangement of arcs in My Hero Academia, the extended recap, the continuous reminder of quirks that we've already known since Season 1, and all of the flashbacks, that at the very least we could get one decent episode of MVA, and a good anime adaptation of MVA, My Villain Academia, but we could not even get that. And I'm just, I'm so frustrated with the My Hero Academia anime at this point, because it's like, I've been talking about this literally for weeks, months now, honestly. I remember making a video saying, like, just why is nobody talking about My Hero Academia this season? And then I talked about, like, what are they doing? Why is this, like, just not doing so well? Because it's like, why are they adding in more flashbacks, more, you know, a recap, etc.? It just feels like so much fluff thrown in to this season. And then we got to the halfway mark, and we found out that, you know, they were completely rearranging arcs. They were cutting over My Villain Academia and rushing off to basically the hero course and all that, where, you know... Izuku, you know, Todoroki, and Bakugo were working underneath Endeavor, Endeavor's agency arc, and it's like, why would you do this? And then, obviously, myself and many others started talking, maybe it was because of Tone Shift, because when it came to MVA, Tone Shift was a big thing, and maybe they wanted to shift it to where, like, they wanted to keep the tone consistent with the upcoming arcs. That was one theory, but then we also found out that the movie was coming out, and that they were definitely, potentially rearranging everything around the anime just to suit the movie's release for they can have full context to why maybe Izuku Todoroki and, you know, Bakugo are with Endeavor. And it's just like, when you look at everything, the way this season has been handled, it is just straight up been sacrificed for the movie. Like, everything about it. Like, what's the biggest kick in the balls, though, when, I, when it comes to this episode of My Hero Academia? is the fact that they skipped core content, which I'll talk about in a moment, but they had the audacity to make a filler episode a few weeks back. They had the audacity to make, literally, a filler episode that was kind of pointed towards the movie, a movie like, you know, kind of introduction, like a prologue, but they can't even fit in actual important dialogue to the core content of My Hero Academia's manga. And this is the first time I think, I believe, think on the top of my head, that My Hero Academia has ever done this. They have ever truly done something to this level, you know, skipping over content that should not be skipped, especially Spinner's dialogue and everything going around Mr. Compress and the League of Villains. It, it is just, it's a catastrophe. And I, like I said, frustration. I have so much frustration around this season because it's back-to-back -back bad. It, it, it's bad. It's not... The art, it's not the animation, and obviously that is subpar in some areas, and I'll talk about the second, but it's not just art and animation. It's not that everything is beautiful every single second. I'm not expecting a Jujutsu Kaisen episode every single week or a Demon Slayer episode. I'm not. All I expect, at the very least from Studio Bones, if they're going to rearrange the manga, at the very least, adapt the actual content within the said manga. Now, obviously, there can be an argument pointed at maybe the reason why they skipped over the whole Spinner stuff that was supposed to be adapted is because of censorship reasons. Okay, fair. However, here's the thing. There is other ways to go around censorship instead of just cutting an entire scene of the manga that gives so much context and clarity to our League of Villain characters and what bonds they have with each other, the situation they're currently in, and why they are in in the, you know, trying to fight, you know, other villains and all that, it, it explains so much. They cut over all of that, and the best way they could have censored everything, honestly, if it is down to censorship reasons, is that all they had to do was show the League of Villains walking in to that, you know, the stronghold where there's anti-individuals that dislike people that don't look really human, and, you know, they just, you know, show them arguing with Shigaraki, and then Shigaraki is about to reach out his hand to him, and then it cuts to black, and then we see him on the ground, some form of them or whatever, on the ground dead. That's easily the best way they could have done censorship if it is indeed censorship reasons, but I don't believe it's censorship reasons. I believe it's actually time constraints. That's what I really do think it is, because, once again, when when you look at the entirety of Season 5 of My Hero Academia, it has been awful. It has been awful. Like, really awful. Like, I want to once again point out what I said at the beginning of this video. We have extended recaps. We have 
continuous flashbacks that do not have any reason to be there. We have continuously, like, constant reminders of quirks that we don't need to be reminded of because we already know what Izuku's quirk is. We already know what Todoroki's quirk is, Bakugo's, etc. We do not need to be reminded. You know, besides all of that, you know, they put in a filler episode. And it's just like, are you kidding me? You're willing to throw in a filler episode and sacrifice the core content that people are actually looking forward to. And that's what upsets me. That's what really upsets me about all this. It's such... A, a shoddy, you know, adaptation right now at this point, I'm just like, are you serious? Like, I never would have fought, if I would have fought back a few years ago, and someone told me, or myself told me, like, this season of My Hero Academia, especially when it gets to, like, some of its highest peaks it's ever been at in the manga, and when it finally gets to that in the anime, that would be actually just straight up awful. It would not be worth your time whatsoever. I would not believe you, because... Ever since the beginning, Studio Bones has always been great with their work. They've always done a fantastic job, and that's what really just blows me away. What is actually going on behind the scenes? I mean, when you think about the time gaps between My Hero Academia, the whole purpose of that, and why the gaps between My Hero Academia has been so long and getting longer, is for the anime can't catch up with the manga. That, that's the whole purpose of what the time gaps are for, but also for more production. You know, just more time to work on the production. But it's clear that is definitely not the case. They're either not utilizing their time right, or there's something going on behind the scenes, and I feel like it has something to do with the My Hero Academia movies, because it's like every time now, in these recent years that a My Hero Academia movie comes out, the anime season suffers greatly from it. Like, we already saw slight examples of this in the overhaul arc in the previous season, but obviously it wasn't to such, you know, this same degree as currently going on in the current season of My Hero Academia with the new movie release, and I'm just like... Why? why? Why is this going on? Why Why is Studio Bones literally destroying the good reputation that they built up? They're destroying what people enjoyed in terms of the anime. They're ruining it. Because it's like, let, let's get into the actual content they cut for we can all be on the same page. Because I know many are wondering, like, why are you really upset, Chibi? The thing is, is that what they cut is literally the beginning of My Villain Academia. It was supposed to start off with a narration from Spinner himself, kind of talking about the situation in the League, what's been going on, how they're broke, you know, how they're running out of money, and, you know, they need actually work, they need new clothing. You see Toga even mentioned that she needs new clothing, and the whole scene that happened within, you know, today's episode, when she got a new coat, was supposed to reference that scene at the beginning of My Villain Academia's arc, is that Toga needed a coat, and she finally got one, and it was a big deal right there. Because it's just showing like, you know, they're finally making somewhat little progress as a group and it kind of humanized the League of Villains It wasn't just a one-man show it wasn't let's just say a hero's, you know, kind of story It showcased that the villains are also very human That's the whole point of what this arc is and then also Spinner his narration It kind of humanized Spinner and let us know more about his narration like his dialogue How he feels about the current situation because when you think about Spinner He, he literally dresses up as a stained fanboy and so obviously Obviously, if the League of Villains no longer represent what Stain actually is, you know, how is he going to feel about that? Is he going to want to stick with the League of Villains? Is he going to want to be with them? Is he going to want to follow Shigaraki? That was the question that was always wondered ever since we found out that the League no longer really has that ideology of Stain anymore. And so Spinner constantly asking the question and wondering what they're going to do. Is this really what they want or what he wants in his life? You know, it, that was a big point of narration. Is Shigaraki the person that can actually lead them down the path that they want? in their life, and also the whole section that was cut that, uh, like I said, potentially was censored, we were introduced to a group that was, like, prejudiced to people like Spinner, for instance, prejudiced to individuals that have quirks that change their bodies into different type of features, like, if you look animal-like or whatever, you know, that group would go after you and want to just exterminate you, that's basically what was done, and it gave a lot more world building to the story and clarification of what some of our characters, not just on the villain side, but on the hero side, have to go through on a daily basis. It built the world up, gave it more immersion, and I know not everybody's going to care about that, but it's a big detail when you build up the world's environment, and it kind of explains the motives behind Spinner and why he even became a villain in the first place, because if you get targeted so much, eventually you might, you know, go down a different dark path, and that was what was so great about about the beginning arc. It set the tone, the dark, grim tone of My Villain Academia. It was very different, and they couldn't even do that. They didn't even set the tone right. So, those that were theorizing that maybe they shifted around My Villain Academia, 
just for the tone, to make the tone better, they didn't even do that. They failed. They failed. They fell flat on their face. They ruined the beginning of the arc and didn't even set the tone right. I'm just, I'm so annoyed. Th this literal anime right now is just so garbage that literally Studio Bones has fallen on their face and it, it's not worth your time. Like, I, I love My Hero Academia. Like, I love it so much. I want it to succeed. I want it to be popular. I don't like making videos like this of My Hero Academia and putting it down, because I love this series. I read it every single week. I love talking about the manga. I love analyzing it, but it upsets me that arguably one of the highest peaks of the manga can't even get a proper anime adaptation for My Hero Academia. That is what really irks me about all of this, and after all the constant bad throughout the season, I figured they at the very least could deliver on this but they couldn't, and it just, I, I'm just, I'm upset, I'm furious, I'm angry, frustrated, I'm, I'm done. But, uh, I guess, uh, anyways, on another note, hopefully all of you like the new camera I got, hopefully it looks better, you know, hopefully the quality of it's better, um, I don't know how it's gonna look fully when it actually uploads to YouTube because of compression, but hopefully it does actually look good, let me know your honest thoughts how you felt about it as well, like, does it look good or bad, is there any adjustments I need to make, and also I have my previous background, it kind of looks back, uh, back to the old times when, you know, I was on my other, or at my other house recording videos, hope you guys enjoy that, if you want me to go back to my old scenery obviously i will just you know let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below but anyways guys be safe leave a like if you like this video chibi out